Hello friends, in this topic we will be discussing the differences between a process center and a process server which are now with BAW known as workflow center and workflow server. Process center is a collaborative development repository with integrated development IDEs and testing process portal. For example, WebPD is integrated into it. Process server is the execution environment with integrated portal for end user interaction. A short time back on our website bpm.tips, an interesting question was posted. Can we use process center as a production environment? Short answer is no. Since process center is a design time, testing and playback environment versus a process server which is a runtime environment. The specific reasons even uh, if you try to use a PC as a runtime environment, production runtime environment, is because of unnamed snapshot accumulation, it will not perform as well. There is a concept of tip in workflow center or process center, which is active instead of the specific snapshot in process portal. Timer-based UCAs will not execute on PC process center or workflow center automatically. You cannot deploy to a process center, only import, modify, and the tip becomes active. Let's take a look at the process admin console of a process center versus a process admin console of a process server. This is a process center, and by default, you do not have any active snapshots here. But if you go to the All tab, you are able to see the applications which developers are working on. If needed, you can actually activate a certain application and you can activate it and it will appear in the active tabs and then you can proceed managing it similar to on the process server admin console. Now in the active tab it shows and, and that will make the multiple links available in the process portal. As compared to process admin console, you can deploy it to a process server and the multiple snapshots appear and they are in the active tab. So those are the minute differences between the process admin console of a process center and a process server. Another question which comes up is, let's say you have an application which you need to, for some reason, determine whether we are currently running on a workflow center or process center versus a process server or workflow server. The way to identify that is with this SQL query. The table LSW system contains property keys and property values out of which is repository is a key which identifies whether the current environment is a workflow center or a process center as compared to a process server.